deepest darkest Lincolnshire and what you can see behind me is a very very new concept here in the UK and it's very very exciting so this is as far as we're aware the very first purpose-built area trout venue lake whatever you want to call it and today is the opening event and uh, I know a few of the guys through work and uh, who are running this and they sort of invite me along to take part and do some filming and uh, just be just be here and witness what, what how it works and what's happening so uh, i'm gonna make a little video today just to sort of um share the, share the knowledge a little bit show people what's happening and how it's working and what the fishing's like etc etc because it will be a new concept to, to a lot of people um but i'll be wearing a gopro during the competition today so you'll see sort of the the, the actual event and how it works and how it breaks down because it's a bit of a, a new concept um, but essentially it's, it's ultra light lure fishing for trout. The, the, the main premise is uh, very strongly aimed at catch and release. So um, that's the, the overall principle of the whole thing. It's, uh, quite, you know, it's very big on the continent, it's very big in Asia, and it's starting to creep its way over here into the UK. Uh, and these guys are ahead of the curve. That's some of them have been doing very well on the European circuit. So I don't expect to get anywhere near the top or placing today. I'm just here to experience it really and, and gain some, some knowledge myself. So I'm gonna bring you along, show you how it goes. Uh, I'll try and tap in throughout the day um, and just sort of give you updates as we go along. But if not, I'll, uh, if I haven't got time, because it will be a sort of competition setting, I will check back in at the end of the day. And until then, you can uh, enjoy the GoPro footage. <laughs> Надо, чтобы это... На воду было. была в воде она. Да, на воде. Да, ну. вот еще, если она прыгнула сама, тогда ну, за счет. Если ты ее так вот пробуешь поймать, уже не за счет. Тогда отпускаешь то же самое. Ну, должно оба быть. Ну. А как снимать? В какой позиции? Нет, ты это вытаскиваешь рыбу, рыба, да? Нельзя поставить сюда или сюда, но она не может выпрыгнуть, тоже не за счет. <laughs> okay, well you probably caught as much of that as I did. Um, my Lithuanian isn't, isn't great, um, so I've had the rules explained to me uh, in English as well, so I sort of understand what's going on. Today is the first event, so it is a learning sort of curve for everyone, as well as the organisers, you know. Uh, this is their first time organising an event like this. So uh, there's going to be some stumbling blocks, which is expected why it's not being taken super seriously today. It's more of a friendly, just a social meet-up. Everyone can sort of learn some new things, meet some new faces, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to do a sort of formal introduction now um, with, the, uh, with the officials. And I'm going to go back and get my big camera and try and get some of that on film for you guys. I'm a uh, founder and the head of Airy Trout Leak Association Atlas. Uh, today is a brilliant day. Thank you for our colleagues that arranged today's tournament. 
uh, because frankly speaking it was one of my dreams uh, I'm started to visit United Kingdom 14 years ago when I brought my daughter to study in the private school here and uh, from this time I started to really dream uh, to have a airy trout competitions in United Kingdom of course uh, all of us know that uh, it was very difficult because local people are saying about the traditions only fly fishing are possible to make in the ponds and when you are catching the trouts but anyway and I would like to say a lot of thanks to the persons who arrange such kind of the great event I think this is really great event here in United Kingdom to you Ruslan and of course for your wife and uh, with applauses we have to support them today is a really horrible and wonderful day of the starts of United Kingdom airy trout fishing as we are understanding by spinning that's why I would like to welcome you in the our in our great family of Atlas members, and if you will participate, win, get uh, nice results. The doors for the tournaments of Atlas will be open for you. That's why I wish you first of all good health, much easier weather not so hard to not to be so hot and to get a pleasure first of all of what you are doing of your fishing catch and release the fish and good luck thank, thank you, you very much. Much. thank you where am i next nine is that the first one on that side? I'm, I'm nine. I'm nine, so I think that's over there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah be next door. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Right, very quick update between rounds. Um, first round I had two bites, one I hooked and lost, and the other I didn't connect with. Um, there was a few for on the other side. Uh, there's a few more fish caught this side, I think, so see how we get on. The wind is pushing into my face this time, so it might make a bit of a difference. Um, there hasn't been loads of fish caught, so I'm not, you know, and really it doesn't matter about total numbers, it's just beating the person you're in that round with, so um, every round you sort of start again, so it's just quite a nice way of doing it because no one really gets uh, too dejected. So, right, just about to start getting ready and we'll go for round two. Right, so that's end of round three. Um, <coughs> I don't know if there'll be any GoPro footage from that one because my GoPro has overheated and uh, basically gone, no, nope, not working. Uh, honestly, I don't blame it. I'm absolutely cooking. We're moving into round four and so far there hasn't been a fish caught in my areas. Um, so it's all been draws for me so far. So uh, still, to, still to play for, I think, you know, there's number four to go. Um, see how they play out.
Oh. <laughs> that makes it even, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even zero. I'm real. Soft mouth stockies. Well done. Yep. Well done. <laughs> okay i've actually lost track of what i've filmed and what i haven't so far um that last session which i think is round six i don't know um i caught nothing had no bites and uh, round before that i think i had a total of three bites and had one on nearly to the net and just was about to scrape the net it pinged off um so that's the closest I've got to landing one so far. It's a lot of people to serve and caught and it's, it's very hot, it's very difficult. Uh, I expect there'd probably be a couple of people that are running away with it. Um, but yeah, still, it's a cool event. Um, I hope you're enjoying just uh, staring at my hands because that's pretty much all you've been doing. And uh, yeah, so crack on now and uh, just try and get one. That's what I want, one before the end of the competition and I'll be happy.
<laughs> Not in the net yet. <laughs> The most annoying thing is it's the first time I've cast that bait all day. <laughs> Okay, well, I sort of just realised I didn't, I didn't really film an outro earlier. Um, but my part of the competition day is sort of done. Um, basically, you'll probably see it on the GoPro. I managed to catch one and lose another in the last round of the preliminaries. Um, we've had the semi-finals and now we're in the midst of an epic final between two anglers that's been going on for probably close to 40 minutes now. We're down to a golden fish now, so the next fish will seal the winner. Um, it is incredibly hot. The fishing has got tougher and tougher as the day goes on, as you can imagine. Um, I will try and clip a little um, clip of the ceremony at the end of this. Um, and then I'll, if I remember, I'll try and do a little outro before I drive away and uh, drive the long drive back to Essex. But yeah, I caught one fish. Didn't place me anywhere, but I caught one. And that's what was sort of my aim by the end of the day when I realised how, how tough it was going to be. Um, so yeah, now I'm just a spectator uh, and helping out doing a little bit of filming. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs>